So now you're at the reference API of the configuring jest and we've stopped on the max concurrency on the last episode. And now it's time to use the model directories. So the model directories, it specifies which folders you have your models. The default is the node models, but you can replace this or add more models like we will do now. Okay, and it works. You see that I'm requiring the custom model with the absolute path. Actually, just will look for into my node modules and then into my no custom node modules, and it will find the custom model up here. And the result is this string. And my model directory is specified here. So if I comment this option and try to run it, you can see that it didn't find the custom model. So when you require a module and you don't specify the file extension, just we'll look for this, for those extensions in the order left, right, and you can overwrite this pattern. Okay, let's suppose when that when I require my custom model, I want to it to get the JSON version. So let me run the test and see what happens. Okay, by default it to get the JS extension because that's the full the default order. So I'll Put the JSON version first, and actually, actually, I'll remove the other ones. And now our test passes because first it tries to get the JSON, and then if it doesn't find the JSON, it will get to JS. But as it found it, it will return the JSON version. When you specify the module name Mapper. When just tries to find the module with this pattern, it will replace this module by the one you passed. So let's suppose you want to replace all the PNG files and to return the, the image stub instead. So let me add this.
Okay, when I try to run like this, it won't find the image.png. So I'll add this config. And I'll replace all PNG imports to use the image step. It's still failing. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, I forgot the value here. This this import is correct. And okay, it passes. And also let me try with a relative import. And it also passes, great. So the model paths is an alternative of using the node path and variable. That means that you can specify a folder that will be used to solve absolute paths. Okay, our test passes. You see that I'm using the absolute path of the custom YouTube. That's because I've configured this module paths pointing to the source. So if I remove this and I try to run, it fails. So actually, I'll, I'll make the same test for the model path, ignore patterns at this folder. So I have the source, I'll create a new one, ignore, and another one, accept. And here I'll have to change to accept custom issues. And at this one, ignore custom issues. So if I run like this, it will run both tests, it will pass both tests, and both are using this absolute import. And now I'll add some a path to ignore. And now when I run, it runs only the accept version. The notify activates notification for test results.
and it notifies me with this message. We can specify a notify mode for our notify. And now I want it to notify me only on failures. Okay, it notified me on failure. Let me comment. Now all all tests will pass, so I expect it to not notify me. Okay, it notifies me. Uh, that's not right. Uh, uh, my notification mode is for failure. Let me try to override via command line. Okay, it works for success. Actually, I'll have to pass the failure. And it didn't notify me on failure. Uh, it seems like that is working for the command line, but not on the config. I think I'll have to, to create an issue at the just. Might be a, a minor bug, I guess, or maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I'm, I'm not seeing where it is, where it's wrong, but never mind. Let's, let's continue. With a preset, you can set a base configuration for Jest. The prettier path is the path for prettier at our application. With the projects config, we can specify multiple projects. That's useful when you have monorepos on when you're using multiple projects at the same time at the same root directory and you run all at once. So let me create this projects folder. Okay, and you can see that it runs the two projects at the same time and also 
because I specify the display name, it is specifying a name for each one of the projects. And in this case, it's using the color blue. With the reporters option, you can add custom reporters to Jazz. And a reporter is a class that implements the on run start, on test start, on test result, and on run complete. So let's use this example from the documentation. Okay, so here I'm specified that I want to continue using the default reporter, but also I want to add this new custom reporter. And this is a option that I'm passing to this custom reporter. And inside of it, you can see that on run complete, it will console log the, the, the global config of Jest and also the options I've passed. Okay, it works. You can see here the default, the, the default reporter and also my custom reporter with the global config and also the options that I've passed to it. I can also comment this default reporter and see what happens. Okay, and this one omits the, the default reporter. You can tell Jazz to reset mocks for each test. I'll copy this implementation of the clear mocks. Okay, if I run the reset mocks like this, expecting the result to result to be 42, it won't pass. Because when you reset the mocks, it also resets the implementation of the mock. But let's try to run and see what happens. You can see that I've specified the reset mocks here. And it, okay, it receives undefined and that's expected when you reset the mock. So. I'll replace this to be undefined. You can also tell Jazz to reset modules for each one of the individual tasks. And actually for this one, I'll replace this for reset models and let me clear this test. I won't use the U2s. Okay, I have this a uh, this implementation of reset models. I'll I'll copy this. I have this stateful module. And also reset models test. Okay, so this module, it has a value that I can change and this will remain on the module, this value. So on my test, let me remove this reset modules. I'm using this stateful module here on the first test and I'm setting the value to one. And on the second test, I expect to be zero. But if I don't reset the modules, it will be one. So let me try to run this. And as expected, it fails. Okay, oh, it fails, but for another reason, the import is wrong. Okay. 
and okay it passes actually because um, I, I'm, I've already set the reset models let me comment this I forgot that I've set okay it fails here because it receives on the second model one and as you, you saw when I run the first time when I set to reset the models this value will reset to zero you can specify a custom resolver for Jazz to resolve your models and for this one I will cheat a little bit I will copy the the test of the Jazz I have this implementation so when you pass the foo or bar it will resolute to your directory name and we'll call the JS, ver JS version of those models Okay, let's for first comment this resolver. Let's not use it and see what happens. And the test fails, it tries to require the foo, but it didn't found. And now let's uncomment this and use this resolver. So when it receives a foo, it will compare with this option and it will resolute calling the proper file the foo.js, otherwise it will use the default resolver. Okay, I have to install the JAS resolve to use the default resolver. It's still failing. Uh, it was a problem in my test. Okay, now it works. We can tell Jazz to restore all mocks after each test. Okay, so we have a string issues with we are spying on the two uppercase, and at the first test, we expect it to return, to, we implement it to return mock and and okay this function will be will be a spy function but on the second one i expect this spy to have been to be cleaned and in this case this string uses uppercase won't be a a mock function anymore and the result of the two uppercase will be the correct implementation so let's first run without the without the restore mocks And it fails because it's still a mock function.
and with the restore mocks it passed. We can replace the root directory of our testing and just we'll get the configs and the tests from this directory. Actually, let me get a better example, global setup and teardown. That's the perfect example. Okay, you can see here that I'm using the global setup, specifying the root directory and, and calling the setup. And here I'll, I'll override this root directory. Okay, and actually let me console log here for it to be more visible. And here I have my global setup and my global teardown, it's called correctly. The roots are a list of directories that's just to use to search for files to test. And it's different from the root directory because in this case, it does not look for configs inside this, only for tests. Let's run without this config and see what happens when I try to run those tests. And it runs tests from service and also from tests. Now if I specify to the routes only for the tests folder, It to run only the test inside the test folder. With the runner option, you can set a runner for Jest, and I'll use the Jest runner prettier. So let me install it. And okay, I'm inside the runner project and I'm passing the runner as the jazz runner prettier. Okay, I also have to install the prettier. So because I'm using the prettier runner, it also points the place where the code is not properly formatted. The setup files are the files that are called before each one of the testing, so it can for you to be able to set up the environment.
Okay, you can see that it run the global setup, then the setup, and last the global teardown. And even if I have the two tasks here, it runs the setup only one time because the setup is run for each one of the files. So I'll have to create another file to be able to see this behavior. Okay, so first the global setup and then the setup for each one of this of the test files. You can also specify the setup files after env. That means that this file will run after the environment is ready. Okay, so first global setup, then the setup, and then the setup after AMP. 